Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am sitting here in my house recording a chat for you guys because I wanted to do a video today but I have been busy and I'll fill you in on that in a minute. I am flying out tomorrow morning. I leave in the morning to go visit Derek and Skyler. So excited. Just nervous about it all because I haven't flown in a year, over a year. It was a year in January and I just feel like I forgot how to do all that. But I'm sure I'll remember once I'm there. And I um, didn't really feel like starting something. I didn't feel like making a mess. My area is all nice and neat for when I return. And I thought, well, I could do a quick video. And I was going to. And I even told Derek, I said, when we hang up, I'm going to do a video. But I ended up being on the phone all day today. And it was kind of a good day to get all these things done. Because like I said, I wasn't sure about starting something. And then I thought I would just hop on, fill you guys in on a few things. Most of you know, like I said, I'm going on a trip and I am going to be gone for a little over a week. My mother is still in rehab. So that was like one of the phone calls that uh, took me by surprise. I was very, very happy to get that phone call. My mother is going to be moved from one rehab to another. She doesn't care for where she is. I don't think she'll really care for anywhere that she is. But she'll be in my town now, and even though I'll be on vacation and I won't be there with her all the time, I think she will like it better. The people seemed really nice. Well, I say people. I only spoke to one, but she was like an angel just trying to help and to help get her moved. And the rehab where she is didn't want to let her go. They said, oh, we are going to extend her stay here until April 17. And I thought, my mother, my mother's not going to last there that long and so she got it done and so I told my mother we're both traveling tomorrow my mother says well they tell me I'm going somewhere she says but they keep saying I'm going home and it must be just because they see that she's being discharged so they just assume she's going home so my mother heard about it before I even did and I told her no you're going to be moved to the other home so I will be in a plane she will be in an ambulance they said that um, I didn't have to uh, transport her because we had talked about this before in case this happened during my trip they're like oh no go on your trip you're not doing the transport anyway so just this morning my mother was like I can't stay here and I was like ma please let me go on my trip I don't want to go there upset about things or worried about things and then I get that call and she's being moved so if anything you know my mother should be at least good while I'm gone the bad thing about it is she was just going to be done her two-week quarantine on Friday night. This is uh, Wednesday. And then my sister could have at least gone to visit her while I was away. But now she's got to start another two weeks. <laughs> the good thing for me is that I will be gone for one of those two weeks. So then when I come back, it won't be too long to wait to see her and to bring her some goodies. She wants her spaghetti. I told her I would bring her spaghetti. Um, you know, she'll be able to eat what I bring because I'll be close now. I don't, I mean, the other place was only like 20, 25 minutes, but still, it's not like I just want to, you know, run out of the house and, you know, spend close to an hour back and forth to bring her spaghetti. But now she'll be like five minutes away, so I think I can handle that. And then, after that, Derek called and said that Derek is in a, a custody, I don't want to say battle, but there's stuff going on and it's just not getting done because of COVID. It started uh, a year ago in January and uh, we're still waiting. So, but they have a court order for now, temporary, and that remains in place until he can have another court date. This court order says he gets Skyla for three weeks in the summer um, for whatever, like visits to Maine, but it's every other year. I don't know if he did that on purpose or he just thought it would be best that way. He, you know, they could have each had three weeks. But anyway, this is the year. Now, last year wasn't his year. 
but we weren't doing that anyway because of COVID. So this year is, and he said, Ma, I just remembered. He says, and I have till April 15 to submit the that, what, three weeks. So he's like, do you want Skylar for three weeks? And I said, does she want to come? And he said, yes, she does. So we spent time talking about that. I filled him in on his meme. And then I spent some time on the computer. It's very hard to juggle the flights because she could fly alone, but she has to fly nonstop. Southwest doesn't have anything nonstop. I have points with Southwest, so she has to fly Southwest. Derek says, I will do both ways, and I'll stay for a couple nights, um, you know, both ways. So I have to fly them in, and then I, we have to fly Derek back out in a couple days. And then I have to fly Derek back in almost three weeks later, and then they both have to fly back out. And I can play between Portland, Maine Airport, and Manchester, New Hampshire Airport. And it usually works out that they fly into Manchester, but then they can leave from Portland. So it is so much to juggle. And then just when I think I've got, like, you know, most of these trips nailed down, there'll be one that doesn't work with the, with the dates. And so I finally got, I got it, I got it. And then I called him. I'm like, you know, I got the dates. I passed them by him. He's like, good. So I booked that. And it's all with my points. So the good thing is, is anything changes, then I just get my points back. The flight that I'm taking this week, tomorrow, is all with points. And then he said, he called me again. He goes, I have a court date. It's in August. I was like, great. So he said that his lawyer asked if by any chance I could come as one of the witnesses during the court date. Now, I know court dates get changed all the time, but I said, yes, of course I will come. So I booked that. So that's two weeks in August because I thought my mother is going to most likely be remaining in a home. We're going to try that. The home she's going to now, it's for rehab to start, but they have a bed for her for permanent long-term care. And I just keep saying we'll try that because I keep telling her we'll try that. But I really don't think that um, unless something would change, like I could win mega bucks and hire somebody around the clock, I don't think we can go back to that situation. It's just a lot of physical demand on me, but it's, it's the emotional demand. But she can no longer take care of herself at all in the bathroom duties. She can barely stand for any any length of time and even if rehab helps her with that she's 98 it's not gonna be like you know she's going to be Wonder Woman all of a sudden it's going to go downhill so I told her I said you know if you were to come home we would be losing that spot right here in town so you know that would be playing with fire and the only reason they have spots is because COVID stopped people from going into homes but now things are starting to open up and I think she said there's only like two Beds for women, none for men. She's like, your mother is just going to just make it in time. So I was like, we're doing this. So we're just, you know, we're saying it's temporary, but it's most likely not. So I was comfortable to, I actually booked that trip in August, just hoping that would happen. I got the call that it's happening only after I booked it. So I booked two weeks in August, and I, um, I'm happy about that. I used my points. I had... 85,000 points on my Southwest because I haven't flown in a little over a year. And my three flights, this one, I mean my three, well, the th all the stuff that I booked, this trip of just me back and forth, the trips of Derek and Skylar back and forth, and then my trip in August cost me out of pocket 56 bucks. Huh? That's awesome. But I'm down to just a little over 2,000 points. So I got to start building. I just get points by what I spend. If I spend $1,000 worth of on fabric, um, then I get 1,000 points. So it adds up pretty quick. And, um, and I'll actually be letting you know. I have most of my accounting done. I will be finishing that while I'm in Mississippi. I want to say Memphis, but I'll be in Mississippi. Derek used to be in Memphis. I still fly into Memphis. He's in um, Olive Branch, Mississippi right now and uh, hoping to move again. Uh, this year and closer to Skylar's school and um, 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 what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Anyway, so that's where I'm going and I will be finishing that up and I think last year I 
disclosed how much I spent on fabric, and I think I will do that again this year. I know some people hate that. That's none of our business. You shouldn't talk about money like that. Because people have an attitude about money. I don't understand people sometimes. <laughs> And so this is what's been going on. Was there anything else that happened today? Was there anything else? Like I said, I didn't do anything around the house. I'm, you know, I've got quite a bit done for the next fabric sale, which I hope to have the weekend after I come back. And my exclusive shoppers know about it. And I... I mean, I would have it anyway, even if it's a small frenzy. I'm calling it a frenzy because it's certainly already bigger than a flash sale. So I'm just going to go with it. I just want to get back into the swing of things when I get back. I've got a lot of fabric. I'm anxious to order more. I'll probably be ordering fabric while I'm gone to have it delivered when I get back because I didn't want any deliveries while I was gone. And, and, and what else? I'm cooking my hamburger patties. That's what I'm taking. I was going to do eight, but I thought I'm going to cook just five because I'm, I just ate four of them and some steak. And I was like, I don't feel hungry. So I don't feel like I'm going to be hungry tomorrow, but of course I will. So I'm going to be bringing hamburger patties to eat. I'll probably eat two or three of them on the way there or while I'm in the airport. My flight leaves at 12.40, so just before my flight. And that'll give me a couple of, I'm not really hungry when I'm flying. And I will also have some pork rinds that I can eat with that. I hear stuff outside. It's because there's life outside. <laughs> I'm just not part of it. And so I am leaving in the morning. I'm leaving plenty early. Uh, this airport, I have to park and take a shuttle. So, you know, stuff like that makes me nervous. And there's one place where I have to get onto the highway and go over four lanes and then get off the highway in a very short distance. And it makes me nervous every time, and there are times that I can't quite get over. And then I have to go through a toll and go like five miles, come back. So I always plan on screwing up like that <laughs> so that I have time to still get to the airport on time. So there's that. I am going to be recording, at least while I'm in Olive Branch, I thought I had two changes of planes. I have two stops, but only one plane change. So that's good. And uh but it's only like 30 minutes I have to run. Yes, me will be running in an airport. And um one time they were like, "Darling, Misho, your flight is leaving and you will not be going with it." I'm like, "I'm coming." I mean, I was just like <laughs> yelling. I'm like, I could see it was way down. I'm like, I'm coming. Oh my God. What a shit show that must have been. And I made it and I wanted to fucking pass out. I was so tired. I mean, it was like, oh, that was a long run for somebody like me. <laughs> and so there's just stuff like that that makes me very nervous. And then I have to get up very early to come back, uh, probably around 4 a.m. And that right there, can ruin my trip. I don't know why I didn't try to pick. I mean, there obviously couldn't have been anything else because I don't pick those kind of flights if I have options. So that just sucks. The only okay thing about it is that, you know, I just have to get up and Derek is taking me to the airport and dropping me off. So it's not like I have to be alive and awake and, you know, being able to make decisions and driving. I have flown out of here you know, to go to Portland or Manchester, whichever. No, I don't think I ever did an early morning one to Manchester, but in Portland I have, where I used to have to get up, it was either 2 or 3 in the morning. My flight was at 5-something. Oh, my God, that was awful, awful. I don't know if there's too much else to tell you guys. It was just a weird day. Uh, you know, it started out with my mother just not wanting to be where she is, and then it ended up being where she's going to be moved to, to some place I really do think she will like better. I think the care is going to be better there. Where she is, I'm not impressed. I am not impressed with how they handle things. It's just not. Uh, and I just know. I can't, like, 
have such high expectations that it's going to be wonderful, but why, why can't we? Why shouldn't we be able to think that an elder can go someplace and have it be wonderful, or at least as pleasant as possible? But um, it doesn't happen all the time. And that's the other thing is with her close, I will be able to you know, be checking in on her, which I like. So I used to think I didn't want her in a home because I don't want to have to go out and visit. But I find that now that I'm alone, I've been alone for almost two weeks, I feel more like doing things. It's just because I, I just don't feel like I'm in prison. It was hard for me at the beginning because we're used to what we do. And, it, and it's like, it was just like a shock to me to have it be so different and knowing it was most likely going to be permanent. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just stuff that we go through. I'm not the only person going through things like this and I'm going to come out of it. Okay. My mother is going to be fine. And, uh, I really think it's all for the best. I really do. I will be able to travel as I wish. So, um, so again, travel plans now, Skylar coming in the summer, um, really focusing on cleaning up this house. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I don't mean like dusting, you know, furniture. I mean like going in the cellar and the garage is my least of my worries. I, a junk man can come and clean that out. But, you know, I have personal things I have to go through. I just want to empty the whole upstairs. I don't use that. It's just like storage up there. And uh, just get ready for when I sell this place that I won't have to be doing all that stuff last minute. And then after Skyla's trip, they go back, you know, toward the end of June, third week of June. I will be going in August for a couple of weeks and then we'll see what happens. If my mother is very content and doing well, I would like to go spend the winter in Olive Branch. Or Derek, he wants to move he hopes to move in Hernando, Mississippi, which is not far from Olive Branch. But wherever he is, I would like to go for the winter. And, um, you know, so I will be looking uh, for uh, just a studio apartment or something like that. It would be my dream to be able to have two locations and go there in the winter. And then I would have that little place for when I do go for like two weeks. You know, I, it's a lot for them. It's a lot for me. You know, I, I can't like just set up shop in Derek's apartment or home, unless he would have a big enough home, um, you know, I would like a place of my own and with a sewing machine there and fabric there. And then when I get there, I, I can record there and do my stuff there and then just go back and forth. There's still issues with that though, because I'm not a snowbird yet, but I was telling Derek today, there were many people in Maine and you know, the East coast that are snowbirds. They go to Florida in the winter and I'm like you know they have homes and you blow out the pipes so things don't freeze I mean you know there's a lot you have to do to prepare but people do it so I can do it I can do it too my only thing is two cars because I would need a car there and a car here and it's like what do I do with my car and then I thought there's probably storage units for cars I don't know I'm gonna look into that but then how do I get to the airport I don't even know do we have uber in my neck of the woods I have no clue so <laughs> there's a lot of things I have to look into oh my god I would hate taking uber I just oh the thought of Ugh, somebody, a stranger and me I'm so nervous when other people are driving I like to be the driver okay I gotta go flip those burger patties. Hang on. You probably think they've been there for a long time. Well, they have, but I render my burger patties. I start it like on number two. So they can just sit there for an hour and they just slowly cook. And then I flip them and they slowly cook and they are so tender and juicy. So um, that's what I'm bringing tomorrow. And anyway, I don't remember at all what I was talking about. Not at all. I saw my first spider. Oh my god, I was so freaked out. It's like spraying everywhere. I don't like spiders. I don't think I'm going to like the bugs in Mississippi. I was pretty good though in Memphis. I don't remember like seeing bugs outside, but two times I saw a roach. <laughs> those big ones. So those are not the like ones that infest the house, but I just don't like them. They're big, but it's the south that happens. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I will be recording from there. Skylar is going to be very busy. We're not going to have a lot of time together. She's, 
you know, in school still, and they're in actual school, and then she um, has tutoring and stuff, so uh, after school. But, you know, we're going to do the best we can. I would like to put something on her channel for her. We hope to do some TikTok together and, you know, just have fun. That's all we can do. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. I don't know. I might talk to you from the airport if I have time. So you might get a video as soon as Friday. I don't know. Please subscribe. Bye.